self. Self is what you are. You are that fathomlessness in which experience and concepts appear. Self is the moment which has no coming or going. It is the heart, Atman, emptiness. It shines to itself, by itself, in itself. Self is what gives breath to life. You need not search for it. It is here. You are that through which you would search. You are what you are looking for. And that is all it is. Only self is. You were never born. And though only desire takes birth, nothing has ever happened. Nothing has ever existed. This nothingness you are, and this is the ultimate truth. You are totally alone, because beauty alone is. Only self is. You simply cannot deny that you are consciousness. You dwell in the lotus of the heart as joy in bliss. Keep quiet and you will reveal yourself to yourself. Self-knowledge is that which is worth sacrificing anything for because everything else is just a mirage rising out of consciousness. Self is the indweller of all beings. So love of others is love of self, yourself. Self is the greatest love and the dearest of all lovers. Love is the attraction of self to self in self. There is nothing besides this love, the source of joy. See your own beauty and you are this indweller, this love and the beauty itself. Nutty, nutty, but what you are cannot be rejected. It is now only, waking or sleeping or dreaming. It is still the now, which only is, only self is. This present moment is light, is self. This moment is not bondage or freedom. It is most precious beyond ideation. This moment is the screen on which all projects. It is always still and untouched, and it is out of time. There is no difference between the ultimate and this presence. To be in this moment, abandon all desires, including the desire to be in it. That which has no name or form has millions of names. Being, awareness, bliss, isness, Atman, truth, self, auspiciousness, beauty, freedom, divine love, fullness, emptiness, consciousness, nowness, effortlessness, hereness, silence, Brahman. As the tongue speaks the word tongue, so you speak these names. To avoid the veiling of your nature with preconceptions, Buddha spoke of self in negative terms like anatta, untouched, unmanifest, unseen, unapproachable, 
unknowable and unstained. Before notions and creations, you exist. So there are no words for that beyond words and language. Self doesn't need to understand itself. Freedom is before the concept of freedom. You are what remains when the concepts of I, mind, and past disappear. Nothingness is no concept. Identify as peace, beauty, love. Do not experience it. No, I am inactive. The activity takes place in me. I am that. I am the screen. I never come and I never go. Identify as consciousness itself. If you do not forget who you are, this appearance of activity is the cosmic dance. Stay as I am, not as what comes and goes. The individual I sense is mind, but being has no frontiers. It is aware of itself, itself. Identify as being. When mind is pure, you will see self in all beings. Purify the mind by removing all concepts, especially the concept of purity. Then self reveals itself to the empty mind, which is consciousness. Ego and mind and all creations arise out of self as self. Even the ugliest of doubts and the most separate of differences rise from the beautiful source as isness. In self there are no do's and don'ts. If there is unhappiness, you are not unhappy. You are the untouched awareness of this unhappiness. As waves are not separate from ocean, nor rays from sun, you are not separate from existence. You are the moment in which all is. The scriptures speak of the three holy rivers within. These are existence, consciousness, and bliss. Being beyond thought and effort, they cannot be objectified or subjectified. They are so dear, so near, behind the retina and before breath. You need not see this, you are it. You are not different than existence than being. See being everywhere by not looking. The seeing is being, not the object seen. Consciousness is the original mother. If you know this, she will take care of you and give you happiness, peace, and deathlessness. This mother we do not recognize. And this gets us into trouble. This unknown is your nature. Return to that. Because the known will give you no lasting peace, no lasting love. Bliss is eternal. Even though it appears to arise when the mind dies. Bliss is not an experience. It is your nature. This is the heart of the wise. This gift is always calling to everyone. You are seated in the heart of all beings. This is the truth.
Your face shines.